Hello everyone, this is your German teacher Erhan Özdemir from Istanbul, Turkey. In this lesson, we are going to learn the countries and the nationalities. Countries stands for die Länder in German. Die Länder, the singular form of this would be das Land, but the plural form die Länder. And here we have die Nationalität, die Nationalität, which stands for nationality. Let's get started. When I say Germany, I'll say Deutschland, Deutschland. So Germany means Deutschland, okay? In the nationalities, we have the genders. If I mention a male, the first column will be a male person. Here, the second column, a female person. So therefore, I will put a male and here a female sign, so that you can understand the genders. So, if I mention someone, a male German, I'll say Deutsche, Deutsche. Here, E-R is pronounced uh, not as Deutscher, but Deutsche. So, that becomes just like an A. So, Deutsche stands for male German. If it's a female, I'll say Deutsche, Deutsche, which stands for a woman, a female, German, Deutsche. So, uh, what do I say for Austria? Austria, uh, that's in uh, Europe. Austria stands for Österreich. Österreich, okay? Austria. So, if it's a male person, an Austrian male, I'll say Österreicher. Österreicher, which is a male Austrian. This place is in Europe, okay? So, uh, if it's a female person, I will say Österreicherin, Österreicherin, which stands for a female Austrian. Here we have Italian, Italian, this is Italy. If I mention someone who is a male Italian, I'll say then Italiana, okay? Italiana stands for Italian male person. If it's a female person, then I'll say Italienerin. Italiana for a male person, Italienerin for a female person. So, as you have noticed here, ER stands for a, actually for a male person in general and EN in general would be a female person. So what about Spain? What do I say when I say Spain? Spanien. Spanien stands for Spain. So if it's a Spanish, a male person, I'll say Spania. Spania, just like here, Italiana, but here Spania, which stands for Spanish male. Okay? If it's a female, I will say Spanierin, Spanierin, the E-N for female. Here we have Frankreich. Frankreich stands for France. So if I say France in German, I'll say Frankreich. Okay? So if it's a French person and this person is a male, I will say Franzose, Franzose. So, what do I do if I say a female French? I'll say Französin. As you have noticed, O turns out to be E, and this E, we put that out, and instead we'll put EN, and therefore we'll say Französin. Die Französin, which stands for French woman, a French male, which, which would be then Franzose. If I say Poland, I'll say Polen, Polen, which stands for Poland. If it's a Polish uh, male, I'll say Pole, Pole. If it's a female, I'll then say Polen, Polen. Belgium. If I say Belgium, I'll say Belgian, Belgian. If it's a Belgian and a male person, I'll say Belgia, 
Belgia, which is a Belgian male person. If it's a female, I'll say Belgiarin. Belgiarin for a Belgian female person. If I say Azerbaijan, just like in English, I will say Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan for Azerbaijan. If that's a female person, an Azerbaijanian person, a male, I'll say Azerbaijana. Azerbaijana. So the female person as an Azerbaijanian, I'll say Azerbaijanarin. Azerbaijanarin. Russian. I'll say Russland. Actually for Russia. Russia stands for Russland. If it's a Russian male, I'll say Russe. Russe for a male, Russian. If it's a female, then I'll say Russin. Russin. En for a female. The males, as, as you have noticed, could be E, but also ER, right? Here we have Japan, just like in English, but it's pronounced as Japan. Japan, okay? If it's a, a, a male, then I'll say Japana. Japana. A female, Japanarin. Japanarin. For China, I'll say China. China, okay? China. It's just like as if I would say ich, right? So ich, I uh, put out the e, and therefore I'll say China. China. If it's a male, I'll say Chinese. Chinese. If it's a female, I'll say Chinesin. Chinesin. Now I want you to repeat after me, please. But first I want to explain you the phrase Ich komme aus. Ich komme aus stands for I come from. Ich, I, komme, come, aus, from. I come from. Please repeat after me. Ich komme aus Deutschland. Ich komme aus Deutschland. Ich komme aus Österreich. Ich komme aus Österreich. Ich komme aus Italien. Ich komme aus Italien. Ich komme aus Spanien. Ich komme aus Spanien. Ich komme aus Frankreich. Ich komme aus Frankreich. Ich komme aus Polen. Ich komme aus Polen. Ich komme aus Belgien. Ich komme aus Belgien. Ich komme aus Aserbaidschan. Ich komme aus Aserbaidschan. Ich komme aus Russland. Ich komme aus Russland. Ich komme aus Japan. Ich komme aus Japan. Ich komme aus China. Ich komme aus China. Now here, if I want to mention the nationality, let's say I'm German, I'll say ich bin. So ich bin stands for I am. Please repeat after me. Ich bin Deutscher. Ich bin Deutscher. Ich bin Deutsche. Ich bin Deutsche. Ich bin Österreicher. Ich bin Österreicher. Ich bin Österreicherin. Ich bin Österreicherin. Ich bin Italiener. Ich bin Italiener. Ich bin Italienerin. Ich bin Italienerin. Ich bin Spanier. Ich bin Spanier. Ich bin Spanierin. Ich bin Spanierin. Ich bin Franzose. Ich bin Franzose. Ich bin Französin. Ich bin Französin. Ich bin Pole. Ich bin Pole. Ich bin Polen. Ich bin Polen. Ich bin Belgier. 
Ich bin Belgier. Ich bin Belgierin. Ich bin Belgierin. Ich bin Aserbaidschaner. Ich bin Aserbaidschaner. Ich bin Aserbaidschanerin. Ich bin Aserbaidschanerin. Ich bin Russe. Ich bin Russe. Ich bin Russin. Ich bin Russin. Ich bin Japaner. Ich bin Japaner. Ich bin Japanerin. Ich bin Japanerin. Ich bin Chinese. Ich bin Chinese. Ich bin Chinesin. Ich bin Chinesin. Let's continue with the other countries. If I say England, I'll say England. England, England. Okay? If it's an English person, a male, I'll say Engländer. Engländer. If it's a female, I'll say Engländerin. Engländerin. So, a male would be then Engländer, a female Engländerin, and the country England, for England. So, when I say Australia, Australia, where the kangaroos are, right, I'll say Australian, Australian, for Australia. So, Australian, Australia, Australia, for a, fee, uh, for a male, right? A female would be then Australierin, Australierin. So, uh, the list of course continues with uh, many other countries, but there are some countries where there are articles. So, uh, when I mention Turkey, the place where I live, the country where I live, the Türkei, that stands for the article D. The D article stands for the Türkei. So, when I mention Turkey, I need to say the Türkei. Okay, so uh, if it's a male, a Turkish, I'll say then Türke, Türke. A female would be then Türkin, Türkin. So a male Turkish person would be Türke, a female person would be Türkin, and Turkey, the Türkei. Be careful, the article is important, so I'll say the Türkei. So what about Switzerland? Switzerland has also the article D, so D Schweiz stands for Switzerland. Switzerland, D Schweiz. Okay, we cannot uh, put this uh, away and say Schweiz only. No, that wouldn't be correct. I need to mention the article D Schweiz. Okay, so if I say a Swiss uh, male, I'll say then Schweizer, Schweizer. If it's a Swiss female, I'll say Schweizerin, Schweizerin. So a Swiss male would be Schweizer, a female Schweizerin. What about Slovakia? Slovakia has also the article D. So therefore I'll say die Slovakei, die Slovakei, which stands for Slovakia. Okay? A Slovakian male that would be Slovake, Slovake. The female for this would be Slovakin, Slovakin. Here we have the USA, the USA, which is obvious. If I say American male, I'll say Americana, Americana for a male American. A female American would be Americanerin, Americanerin, a male, Americana, a female, Americanerin, and the country, the USA, the USA. Now I want you to repeat after me in the following sentences with the following structures. But before of uh, before I uh, continue with this, I want to show you a structure where the articles are changing. Let's take a close look. So as I mentioned, Türkei has the article D. I say D Türkei. But here I need to be careful. If I say I come from Turkey, 
D turns out to be der. So I'll say, ich komme aus der Türkei. Instead of saying, ich komme aus die Türkei, that would, would be wrong. I'll say, ich komme aus der Türkei. So what about die Schweiz? Die Schweiz stands for Switzerland. So die turns out to be der. And therefore I'll say, ich komme aus der Schweiz, which stands for I come from Switzerland. So, I come from Turkey will be, ich komme aus der Türkei, I come from Switzerland, that would be then, ich komme aus der Schweiz. Same with die Slowakei, die Slowakei turns out to be der Slowakei, so I'll say, ich komme aus der Slowakei, ich komme aus der Slowakei, I come from Slovakia. But here, I need to be careful, here we have die USA, but the USA, there is a plural form, not a singular form anymore. And instead of turning this to der, this turns out to be den. Why? As this is the United States, there are many states in the country, right? And therefore, that's a plural form. And therefore, I turn this to den. So I'll say, ich, ko ich komme aus den USA. Ich komme aus den USA. This topic has the grammar which uh, the topic dativ. Dativ will be having this, but first I need to have this as a structure. So I want you to um, understand this as a structure. Easy. I turn this to der. D turns out to be der. And if it's a plural form, this turns out to be den USA. Okay? I want you to repeat after me, please. Ich komme aus England. Ich komme aus England. Ich komme aus Australien. Ich komme aus Australien. Ich komme aus der Türkei. Ich komme aus der Türkei. Ich komme aus der Schweiz. Ich komme aus der Schweiz. Ich komme aus der Slowakei. Ich komme aus der Slowakei. Ich komme aus den USA. Ich komme aus den USA. Here we have ich bin. Ich bin stands for I am. Ich bin I am. Please repeat after me. Ich bin Engländer. Ich bin Engländer. Ich bin Engländerin. Ich bin Engländerin. Ich bin Australier. Ich bin Australier. Ich bin Australierin. Ich bin Australierin. Ich bin Türke. Ich bin Türke. Ich bin Türkin. Ich bin Türkin. Ich bin Schweizer. Ich bin Schweizer. Ich bin Schweizerin. Ich bin Schweizerin. Ich bin Slowake. Ich bin Slowake. Ich bin Slowaken. Ich bin Slowaken. Ich bin Amerikaner. Ich bin Amerikaner. Ich bin Amerikanerin. Ich bin Amerikanerin. But there are countries where there is their article used. So for Iran, I'll say der Iran. If I mention an Iranian male, I'll say Iraner. If it's a female, I'll say Iranerin. So, Irana for Iranian male, Iranerin for Iranian female. This is also for Iraq. Der Irak, der Irak stands for Iraq. Irakian, Iraker, Irakerin when I mention the female for Irakian, Irakerin. Here we have a change where the articles turn out to be den. So if I say, I come from Iran, I'll say, ich komme aus dem Iran. Ich komme aus dem Iran. This is also for Iraq. I'll say, ich komme aus dem Irak. Ich komme aus dem Irak. In this lesson, we have learned the countries and the nationalities. I want you to subscribe to our channel, leave comments, hit the bell button for further more videos 
and share this video with those who want to learn the German language. In the ending, I want to share Die Türkei stands for Turkey, Turkey in our country. I hope to see you again. Till then, tschüss!